Hello to all the future event management professionals. I hope you're excited about this module on event conceptualization and design as much as I am. My name is Payal Shah Karwa, and I am a content professional and an event professional wherein I create content for brands as well as events, wherein I conceptualize for events, wherein we create a lot of ideas, a lot of themes, a lot of scripts and so on and so forth. We have consulted a lot of big event companies as well, like Percept, Fountainhead, Encompass, and so on and so forth. And in the last 15 years, wherever I have worked, I have learned a lot. And I'm very, very happy to share all my learnings with you. And I hope you can take back something home with this session. Let's move on. So here we are. We are going to discuss event design and event conceptualization, as you can see. Basically, event management is all about creating a wonderful experience for all your guests and attendees, right? And how do you create that experience? How do you know what you need to do? What kind of food you should have? What kind of invitations? What kind of design? How do you know all that? And this module is going to help you with that because every event design or every event experience begins with an event concept, right? So the first thing that I would like to talk about is this, that the images or whatever content, case studies we have shared, everything is with permission or they are copyright free. The images that we have shared are downloaded from uh, Wikimedia Commons or they're downloaded from media like Pixabay and Unsplash, which are completely uh, copyright free, royalty free, and you can use them for commercial purposes. And what is it that we're going to learn in the module today? Okay, the first thing that we're going to learn in this particular session is what is an event concept or what is event conceptualizing? The second thing we will learn is what is event designing? How do you do event conceptualizing? And after creating a concept or a theme, how do you convert that theme into a complete sensorial experience with all the elements that go in an event? I hope this covers everything that you wanted to know in this particular session. So let's move on and learn what is the meaning of an event concept. So basically, event concepts is nothing but a central theme or a message that you want to give out to the audiences or the people who are attending your event. Okay. Now, very simply put, say for example, you're organizing a birthday party for a friend. Now, all of you are young people, and what is that one thing that all of you like in common? It could be maybe sports, it could be cinema, or it could be something like a book, like say Harry Potter. It could be anything which all of you commonly like. So let me take an example of a movie. So for example, the theme of the birthday party is movie or cinema. Now, if you are an Indian cinema fan, then we have something called Bollywood over here. If you are a fan of Hollywood, then of course, there are again a lot of options. So you can pick and choose what kind of movies or what kind of theme for cinema you want. If it is Bollywood, again, you could do retro or maybe you can do Indiana Jones or cowboy themes. It completely depends on what is it that you like or what is it that interests you. So that becomes a central theme or the concept of your entire birthday party. So right from the invitation, you know, to the dress code, maybe to the decoration, to the food, to the games, everything is around that one particular theme of movies. And why do you need a theme? That also is very important to know. Otherwise, you will say that, why should we think of a concept? Why don't we have anything? It need not have a theme or a concept. But nowadays, in professional event management, that is not the case. And you will soon see why in the next slide. Now, another important thing to know is that um, event uh, concepts differ for every different kind of an event. Okay, now when you're doing a birthday party, it's a social occasion and you don't need to be very formal about it. It can be very informal. But nowadays, a lot of companies, a lot of brands are doing events. So they could be doing a social event, maybe, uh, you know, like a 50 year old celebration, or they could be doing a, maybe a sales conference or it could be a product launch and so on and so forth. So for every event, like you see that, for example, if you're doing a masquerade, then uh, if you're doing a social event, then a masquerade could be a great idea because it's all about celebrations, all about partying and so on and so forth. Now, if you're doing a sales conference, again, you cannot have a very peppy or a very masquerade theme. It needs to be a motivational theme because a sales conference means you're motivating your salespeople to do better in the next year. Similarly, if you're doing uh, uh, a product launch, for example, you know, say Starbucks is launching a product, a new coffee, then 
what do you think that theme could be? Can you think and guess? And now, let's look at an example of an event which was done by the agency bucket list for their client, PNG. It was a family day event and full of fun and frolic. And can you guess what the theme Now we will talk about why is it important to have an event concept. When you're doing your own personal event, it's up to you whether you want an event theme or a concept or not. But nowadays, for professional events, we all need one central theme or an idea which cuts across all the audiences. Basically, we want to pass on the one common message or uh, we want to tell people in that room that this is what we want to say in one way. So it gives a common direction to all the people present at the event, okay? So for example, it's a sales conference. Now in a sales conference, you know that you know, people have a very tough life and they need to be kept motivated. And how do you motivate them? They need to know that they are very special and that they're very important. And they are the people who make the company run. So say for example, you want to treat them like royalty. You want to give them a royal experience and make them feel like they own the place that they are kings over there. Now, when you take an event concept like this, it means that all of them are being treated like kings or like royalty and they feel very special. You can't have some people feel royal or some people feel something else, right? So you need to have one theme which keeps everything together. Also, this one particular theme will tell you how your entire event will look like or feel like or what will it seem like, what kind of food you will have, what kind of invitations, what kind of branding you will have and so on and so forth. Okay, it brings a lot of chutzpah and a lot of glamour to your event. Say, for example, in royalty, again, you have many, many uh, uh, options, like you say, the Indian uh, royalty, or it could be Greek royalty, or Egyptian royalty. It completely depends on you. There are infinite ideas and infinite uh, thought processes that you can have, and you can choose any theme you like which fits your event the best and your audience the best. Okay. So let's start now designing the event and understanding that from an event concept, how do you design an event? Okay, You have a central theme or you have a central idea. Say, for example, we take royalty as a central idea as an example. And what? how does it translate into an event design? So basically, event design is nothing but the visual look and feel of how your event is going to be like and all the other elements which make up the entire experience. So you pre-plan all of this and you make a thematic execution. So if my theme is, say, for example, royalty, you know, so maybe you could take up a, a theme like uh, a sub-theme like Bahubali, or you could take a sub-theme like Egyptian, like Pharaohs, okay? Now, or a European theme. Now, if you have a European concept, okay, then right from the time you give out invitations, it would be something in the form of a scroll, or maybe it could be uh, you know, in the form of a parchment, or it could be in the form of a paper and quill, so on and so forth, which relates back to the theme. And when you attend the event, say they have a castle-like appearance, they have a moat, then everybody is given a crown when they enter. And when you're seated, you see the stage like this, you see like a castle and a fort built over there, and then you will see the music is very royal. And then, then you will see that uh, there are people who are uh, waiting on you and they are dressed in these royal guard costumes. And then the entertainment and the way the MC speaks, everything will be around the theme of royalty. And that, my friends, is exactly what event designing is all about. Is designing the experience, creating the experience from the central theme and bringing it alive on ground.
I hope you've understood this concept. It's very, very simple. And we'll simplify it further as we move ahead. The next topic that we're going to talk about in this particular session is how to ideate or how to conceptualize. Now, a lot of people are really stumped by this. The first thing they think is, how do we know what idea we need to think of? Or how do we start? How do we begin? So this section, I'm going to discuss that. And it's going to be a very generic session. It's not related exactly to event conceptualization. But we need to understand the science of concept and how our brain works. How is it that we're able to form ideas and so on and so forth? If you understand this, you'll be able to conceptualize better. So let's move on. Now to understand how to conceptualize, let's first understand what is conceptualization. Basically, it is nothing but a creative ideation process. It means you need to create ideas from the information that you already have. You need to think, you need to form patterns. And you need to form patterns in such a way that you get ideas which fit the client brief. I will tell you what the brief is, but first let's understand how creative ideation works and how ideas are born. If you understand the science behind this, you will be able to create better ideas each time. What is creative ideation? Now let's look at this picture. Do you see a picture of a human brain? Okay, It depicts a human brain. The human brain doesn't look like this. But if you see these little, little dots over here, Okay, they represent the entire ecosystem of your brain, which is made up of little neurons or these little cells. Um, let's think of them as small little rooms in which you share your information. So, for example, as a child, you started learning new words through your environment, you know, through your mother, through your father. They spoke your mother tongue. You learn these words and you learn to store these pieces in your brain, which automatically comes unconsciously. Okay. All these dots are one piece of information. Now, if you want to make a sentence, how do you make a sentence? You create a pattern, right? For example, we join the dots. We join the dots of every word and we create a coherent sentence. For example, if I want to say, we are learning about even conceptualizing. Okay. Now, if I do not connect or make a pattern between my neurons correctly, then maybe I'll become very chaotic and say event about learning are conceptualizing V. Now, does that make sense? It doesn't. But our brain knows, our neurons are programmed in such a way that they know what is the correct sentence or the correct structure of a particular sentence so that it makes sense. So this is how very, very basically uh, put uh, neurons work or how our brains work. They are little, little dots and these dots make patterns or they make designs in themselves to make something which we can understand. Okay. Now, how is it related to creative ideation? Ideation is basically joining these dots to make an idea, okay, to make something which is of value to make a central theme or an idea which we can use for something else. For example, a lot of people have business ideas nowadays. A lot of people have ideas on how to reduce pollution. A lot of people have different kind of ideas to help people. How do these ideas come? They have information and then they can innovate because they form patterns in their brains. So let's move on and find out how you can make patterns in your brain so that you can help yourself ideate for events. Now let's take an example. Say I give you a random word called fan. Can you see that? Now from fan, probably I will arrive at another word called wind because it reminds me of wind. You know, when I switch on the fan, it gives me breeze. It reminds me of the wind. That's how my mind is working. Now from the next word, from wind, I will get another word, say energy, because wind is a form of energy. Now from energy, I might get a word of the five elements of the earth, you know, the sun, uh, the earth and the sky and the Panch Mahabhut that we call. Now, this is a pattern that my brain has created, which gives me different ideas. Like, you know, for example, five elements is one idea that I could come up with. And maybe it gives me an event theme. You can actually create an event theme or a conference theme out of these five elements to show unity, for example. Okay. Now, the next example I want to give is everybody's minds works very differently. Maybe from fan, you did not 
uh, see it as win. Maybe you saw it as movies because you're a movie fan. And from movies, maybe again, I'll come to say Bollywood or Hollywood, depending on what you like. Okay. And from there, maybe I can get one more word or another theme and so on and so forth. So my mind is making this pattern in yellow and maybe your mind is making a pattern in green. But every mind makes different patterns. That's why people have different ideas at different times. And it is also possible that say you are sitting in the same room and you are ideating. So ideas are all electric impulses as I explained that these are neurons which connect with each other through electrical messages. And so these electrical impulses <clears throat> are given out and sometimes uh, we work like receivers, you know, human bodies are like receivers, like you, how you have a cell tower and a phone and from the cell tower you receive the signal on your mobile phones and that's how you can connect with the world. So believe it or not, we are all as humans, we are receivers and the signals that we send out to ele electric impulses from our brains, uh, we sometimes also call it telepathy. Okay, so some people are very strong receivers. So it is very much possible that two people can have the same idea at the same time because our thoughts are electrical impulses and the other person is receiving that. So um, if you feel that that person, how is it that they thought of the same idea as mine? It's probably because of this. And you will be surprised that a lot of agencies, a lot of event agencies that pitch, sometimes they get similar ideas and the clients say that, how did you know that this agency is presenting the same concept? So it becomes all the more important that we ideate differently and we create very, very unique and innovative ideas so that more and more people are not able to copy it or are not able to think alike. Okay, so important to be very creative, think out of the box in the field of event management. Right, so now that you know how your mind works and how these patterns are made, let's give you another example. Okay, so say I give a random word, say animal. From animal, I come to say domestic. Okay, from domestic, I come to say horses, and horses give me maybe a theme called races. Now, horse racing. Could be another event theme because you know luxury events and rich people elite they really like racing which is uh, uh you know at the turf club or if you go to all these race courses you can find abundant okay so one word can also give you a whole theme or an idea as it forms a pattern so this is how ideas work this is how these dots can be joined and made into a complete experience isn't it exciting if you find that exciting, I'm going to give you a small exercise which you can try at home and see what exciting ideas you are coming up with. Okay, I'm sure you'll be able to ideate really cool ones. And all you have to do is dot away to the idea. I will give you a random word, a keyword as I call it. And it's random. It's not related to anything or it is. it has no meaning uh, per se. But I just thought of this word and I thought that you will be able to come up with uh, different ideas from that word by forming a dotting pattern okay so like how we did earlier join the dots take the word called short okay and make a pattern so from short probably what is the first word that comes to your mind use that from the first word second word third word fourth, and so on and so forth till you arrive at some kind of a theme or a concept which you feel can become a big event Okay, just try it. It really works and it will really give you many, many interesting possibilities of an idea. This is how creative ideation works. Now let's look at a video of a multi-format event based on a central theme. This video will give you an idea how a central theme is executed into different formats or activities for the same event. This was done by Channel Colors for the show India's Got Talent. Now, after you see the video, try and answer these questions for self-learning. What was a central theme? What was a brand? What was a message? And did you find it unique or inspiring? Look at the video carefully, enjoy it, and definitely answer the questions that we have asked before. India's Got Talent went beyond just showcasing talent with a proposition. What talent is what is the work of Every city has a surfeit of talent that can be utilized to do good. We did exactly that.
ब्यूटीफुल प्लेस कॉल सेम कैथरीन जो बैंड हाउस में आता है दिस इज अफुल ऑफर है जन आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल टू कलर स्टीवी जो कहते हैं हैश टैग टैलेंट फॉर गुड जब आपके पास कोई टैलेंट हो अच्छा ही के लिए नहीं यूज करो तो उसका फायदा क्या है आपको भी अगर ऐसा कुछ करना है किसी और के लिए अपना हुनर का इस्तेमाल कीजिए आपके सामने उनका खुद टैलेंट उनको दिखाने के लिए एक मौका मिला हुआ है तो जो पॉजिटिव एनर्जी आप उनको दे रहे हो पिकअप करते हैं एंड इफ इट इज प्रेजेंटेड पॉजिटिवली देन देर इज अ गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर चिल्ड्रेन इवन कमिंग फ्रॉम एन ऑर्गेनाइज बैकग्राउंड टू एक्सेल बिल्कुल वो हुनर ही क्या जो किसी के काम ना टैलेंट्स ने एक बहुत अच्छा इनिशिएटिव किया है टैलेंट्स ऑफ गुड और जहाँ पर नवरात्रि के महोत्सव में जो जितने कैलरीज बर्न करते हैं उतनी अमाउंट का उन्हें डोनेशन दिया जा रहा है पर जी मैं संध्या वृद्धाश्रम में आके दादा दादी से मिलके उनके साथ गरबा करके ये एनर्जी देख के ऐसा लग रहा है कि हम लोग भी किए उनके सामने टैलेंट था आज एक आपा वधिया वर्तो करोगे तुसी की करना मेरे नाले गाना गाना गाओगे मेरे नाले टैलेंट ही क्या जो किसी के काम ना है आज जो तुसी थे गाना गाया हुआ ना कितना वधिया लगूगा जे आहा गाना ओह बच्चे सुन पान जेले की सुन ही नहीं सकते क्योंकि कलर्स दे लगावा तो हड्डी आवाज दे हुनर दे बेस दे उते ओना डेफ बच्चे हम जेले की सुन नहीं सकते ओना में सुनन काम दी सुन दी मशीन दे लगावा सो देस हम दे डेफ मशीन्स जो कि उन बच्चों को सुनने के लिए मदद करेगी जो कि सुन नहीं पाते तो चंडीगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी इज सिर्फ आपके कारण हो रहा है एक बार जोरदार तालियां कमान and that brings us to the end of the first session i really hope you enjoyed it let me quickly summarize what we have learned the first thing that we learned is all about event concepts what is event conceptualizing what is event design and the next thing that we learned is how do you come up with ideas per se it's not about event ideas but it is about ideation or creative ideation in general and the upcoming sessions will also talk much more in detail about how to get event ideas and how to develop those ideas into a complete event experience so i hope to see you in the next session and i hope you enjoyed this one thank you so much for listening